you're yeah, looking at my jade plants um i'm not very happy with what's going on so i got this one first and then i got this one um they've been looking really healthy this has been looking really healthy you can see the leaves the leaves look really nice and instead of dropping leaves instead of dropping leaves it dropped a few maybe like three leaves and then i went online to find out what to do and i found it needed sunlight sunlight i uh, checked the soil it had enough water it wasn't too too moist so water level was okay for the soil but then it stopped it stopped dropping leaves and then i checked see yesterday yeah yesterday i just you know was checking them again and then i saw all these leaves had dropped some of them have dried out you can see have dried out i've thrown some away but all these leaves had dro dropped there are some here you know that have dried out look at this one um i had three stems so it was three stems there's another stem here all the leaves on that stem had dropped off and that stem had almost like dried out and it just freaked me out like god what's going on here then this one is so healthy i just touched it and then this leaf just fell off this leaf just fell off um so worried that i'm losing my dead plants and so i went online again and found out that it's something called spider lens. Spider lens. Um, the video I watched said there'll be like webs. But I, there, there are no webs on this. So I've put my hand, I can't feel any webs. I don't know if it's the visible webs that you can see. But there are no webs on this. The only thing I saw on the guy's video that is similar to my video is he showed, you know, the leaves dried up and like sucked out like this one you know sucked out and this is what i've seen you see like the little one in there see this little one it dry and it sucked out so i'm guessing that i'm having the same spider lane on my uh, on my jade plant which i'm not very happy about so he mentioned using alcohol and water spray to spray it I don't have any alcohol in this house. Um, I don't drink. Mac does, but there isn't any alcohol at the moment in the house. So I don't know. The only thing that is close to alcohol, I'm thinking, is apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Whether to use apple cider vin vinegar and spray on my plants and see if it will help it. But I've got this, you know, so I'm going to take a risk. Or oh, this is for, this is a, an insect killer bog clear so i'm just going to take a risk and, and just you know trust that and trust that my jade plant wouldn't die also something else i'm going to do like the guy did was to take a cotton so in order to save these ones what i think i'm going to do honestly i don't want to wait i'm not going to wait for it to like die off on me so i'm going to cut I'm actually going to cut these ones. I'm going to cut here, here. Just cut them. I'm just going to cut them and repost them and then just trust that they will shoot. If I lose all, I know I've lost all, but I need to try something. You know, I, I really don't, I really need to try something. So I'm going to spray, repost them and just trust that one will survive or two will survive, you know. Um, just in case I've been attacked by something I don't even know or I can't fix. So yeah, I will give you guys the update of what, how I get on. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut it. I'm really sorry. It looks so pretty. Um, this is my first time growing succulents. Um, I've just been watching these and seeing how they do. Um, I even ordered some succulent seeds. I haven't tried planted them yet because you know I'm still trying to observe this and learning from these ones. But yeah, um, jade plants, you you got to do well. You got to do well. It looks like there's one that is okay. That one's still hard. I think these ones are still hard. These ones are hard. 
because the other ones if i do this they just go off they just yeah these these ones are these ones are hard i might leave this one as it is i won't touch this one i'll leave this one as it is or i might cut here and then stick this one in another pot and then cut this one and stick somewhere else I have cut the stem. You can see it looks very ugly now. I've left this two there to see what happened. Um, if it will grow, and I hope it does. Um, I haven't touched this one. I've left this one as it is. Then the stem I got from here, I have reported them here. So I've got two here and one here, and I put the leaves open this up I put the leaves into this propagator this is my first time using it I bought it actually to plant some um, succulent seeds so I'm going to also plant the succulent seed here and and then you know they should all just grow at the same time so I don't know if I've done this right I've laid this one because some videos say lay the leaves. I've laid that leaf there just to test. My hands are dry. <laughs> Sorry, see how dry my hands are. Um, I've, I've put this line down to see, you know, if that one grows. Because I've tried a few like this and they just dried out. And I was spraying them water and they just dried out. So, no luck there. Um, so I've done, and then I've stuck some leaf because some people say stock the leaf. And then what I've done also is I've got this rooting, rooting gel. I don't know if it's going to work. I've got this routine gel, organic routine gel. So what I've done is routine gel, no routine gel, routine gel, no routine gel, routine gel like that. Routine gel, no routine gel, routine gel, no routine gel, routine gel. So that I see if the routine gel works for, for them or not. And then here are another two. One's got routine gel, routine gel, no routine gel. And then these two that look funny, um, I was trying out something from a YouTube, YouTube video. This guy said you can root them without water. So you put them in a glass and put them um, close to where there is water or something like a tap or something like that. So I just checked now and this has got some roots. I put it in a glass jar and um, it's got some roots. And then this one, I put it in a plastic container and covered it and put it close to where there is water, my water feature, and it, there's roots now. So now I have put it in the soil. I, I've laid this one down and I've, I've you know, dug in that one just to see which one picks up. But they both have roots and they both have roots from no water. Amazing, amazing. They both have roots from no water. So I'm just going to leave them there and see if you look closely you can see that they've still growing and they've grown from no water this one i don't want to pull it out because i've just um, tuck it in so yeah let's see um how they do i'll spray some water over them once i finish so these are the seeds that i want to try out sorry my hands are so white oh god um but that's the gardener's hand i'm not using any gloves today and so i'm just going to bring this out I got this off eBay. Look at how tiny. Can you see? They look like little sands. Look at how tiny these seeds are. So these are supposed to be. Um, oops, the sun just come out. I don't know if you can still see. Yeah. So you see how? Yeah. Let me get, get to, close to the camera. See how tiny they are? They're like little tiny ants. So I got this off Amazon. No, Amazon eBay. I got this off eBay. Um, there are succulents, different types of succulents. Um, I'll be waiting to have a day when it's not too windy to plant them. And today is perfect, it's not too windy. So I'm just going to put them in here. I don't know what's going to come out, <laughs> what's going to grow. But the guy says it's quite easy. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's no information. This is just promotional to say thank you. But well, he did send me this, and I didn't receive it on time, so he sent me another one. So I've got two sets of these seeds, um, and he just said I should keep keep the other one. 
So yeah, I'm going to plant it uh, them yet, and then we'll see how long it takes them to grow. The only question I have now is, where do I keep this? I have to find a place to keep this tray, because this place is so windy. Okay, I think I have an idea. I'm going to keep it to protect it from the wind when it comes. So yeah, let me get planting, and then we'll see the results. So what I've done is I've pushed everything to the base because they are so tiny. I don't want to open the pack or I'll lose everything and if they drop you won't be able to identify what is seed and what is sand. So I push everything down to the base of the pack. And I think it's easier for me to um, now spread them on the sand, identify them and spread them on the sand. So yeah, let me get planting.